This community in the early 80s was in real big trouble. Across the street, it used to be a crack house. Kids that were shot in front of the gate here in the early 90s. The neighborhood gets a very bad reputation because of that, but things like that don't happen anymore. This place has kind of become a sanctuary. This is a, a place for positive change. Well, City Heights is an underserved community, low income. It's not like many places in the city. Having a golf course, it's just they live like here, like a rich life. It's not only golf, it's a lot, a lot more. Can you imagine having this beautiful course in an area that you would never imagine that this could exist? And I think because of this course, because of this amazing place, everything around just grows. So when you see this place, it takes you out of the surroundings. So you don't, you don't feel that you are in, in the area. So you feel like you're in a country club for the kids. This place is for the minority, for those who cannot and don't know where to start playing golf. It's like our medal, you know, for our neighborhood. It's our prize. It's the most diverse community in San Diego. There are 57 different languages spoken in this community alone. This course is here so that kids from this community would have access to the game and would feel like they belong. Like this neighborhood's not really rich, but you know, you can come here and enjoy a good life here and just have fun. Miss Wang in the house, look at that one. Woo! Go in. Clutch, very clutch. Let me, let me get a pound and a smile. We chose golf because it's so inaccessible in some way to kids that would grow up in an environment like this and to make them realize that no, they, they belong. We call them members for a reason. This is their club. This is their country club. They are my members. I work for them. Coach Daniel is a really great guy. He doesn't just like teach you golf. He teaches you things that will help you to be successful in life. Don't worry about it, erase it from your memory. Because sometimes you might not see it in front of you. You gotta step back and look at its entirety. It's about you not letting yourself beat yourself. Mm -hmm. Do your best and let somebody else beat you. He's a very good coach. He listens to everybody and he will never give up on you. For me, it's always been my passion to kind of change the face of golf, change the way people see golf. This is just the perfect environment for that. You never really get it until you step foot into this facility. That's when it hits you and you're like, whoa, this is something really special. This neighborhood has gotten a lot better, but still, there's still a lot of work to be done. We want to grow as much as we can. We're going to want to offer these programs, such as the PGA Junior League, to as many kids as possible. And the fact that the PGA Reach really provides help with the scholarship program, it really serves as a catalyst of opportunity for us and for all of the kids involved.